In my last video, I introduced you to a program called Rough. It is designed to be a speedy alternative to the likes of Flakate and Pylint, and I claimed in that previous video that it was the future of Python development. I still stand by that statement. I think it is the future of Python development in terms of code quality assurance. However, one thing I didn't do, I, I showed you how to set it up and I showed you how to configure it and I showed you know, some of the things it could do in terms of some of the more obscure codes. One thing I didn't do was show how fast it is compared to other linters. And that's because I wanted to do it in a separate video where I could do it properly, where I could take my time, actually set up these tests and do it properly. And this is what we're gonna do in today's video. So we have two tests lined up. We have one between Rough and Flake 8 and two separate ones between Rough and Pylint. We're gonna start with the Flake 8 one. I'll go over all the specifics of each test when we get to them. But one thing that is shared across all of them is that we are linting the TensorFlow source code, specifically the Python files, obviously. TensorFlow source code is, or TensorFlow is one of the bigger source codes uh, that I know of. It has 1,136,213 lines of code at time of recording. So there's quite a lot to go through. It is a very extreme example and it will show off the linters very well. So we're gonna start with the Flake 8 one first. And I will say because Rough is still in development, it is not as capable as either Flake 8 or Pylint. Um, so for the sake of you know equality between the two and to make sure that you know Flake 8 and Pylint don't get a massive disadvantage because they're checking more than Rough is, I've actually gone through and selected everything manually. Uh, so they will both be checking exactly the same things when they run. We are going to be using the time command uh, on ZSH specifically to measure these and I'll have the commands themselves like this one in the description. So in this case we're selecting F E4 E7 E9 B0 B904 B905 and we're ignoring F723 704 and all the others because they're not actually implemented in rough so we're not asking Flake to do them either. And if we run that we'll get an error because I Copied it wrong. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> so if I do this, there we go. And now it will run. And there we go, it's finished. It's given us an awful lot of errors, but you can see that bottom line down there, we have a time of 56.178 seconds to run all of that. So if we now do, if we switch over uh, to TensorFlow Rough, so this is an entirely new clone of the of the repository, an entirely new virtual environment, and we run this command instead. So now select an F, E4, E7, E9, B, which is the bugbear stuff. We're ignoring F842. For some reason that's implemented in rough and not in flake 8, which is weird. If we run that, uh, I haven't installed it, which would help. And now we've got to wait for PyM to shout at me because that's always fun. Now we can actually run that. And it's already done. You can see the difference there. You can also see the TensorFlow has quite a number of errors uh, in it, but we don't need to talk about that right now. Uh, so it found 6,347 errors in just 3.452 seconds. Now I will do the maths in editing and I will give you uh, the the figure there, but that's quite a lot. Um, if I do some very basic math in my head, that is very fast. <laughs> One thing I do want to note is that if we run this again, we'll see that it runs significantly faster. So now Rough is finishing 0.927 seconds. If we go back to Flake 8 and we run uh, that one again, we'll see that this one also runs significantly faster. And that's because all of the uh, the bytecode has already been compiled, so Python doesn't need to do that again. Um, and it's all you know magic with caching, but even then, you know, Flake 8, as you can see, is still quite a bit slower um, than, there we go, 19.2 seconds this time around. So Flake 8 does get a lot quicker uh, when it comes, or when you introduce caching, um, but, Rough is still so much faster. <laughs> it's now time for the other experiment, Rough versus Pylint. According to Rough's GitHub page, Pylint is significantly slower than Rough. So this will be an interesting one. It's also much more of an ass 
to actually obtain all the codes. You'll see the commands are complete and utter nightmares. Um, it took me maybe half an hour just to build these commands uh, to test this properly because we're doing it properly. We're doing science and we're doing it properly. And we're starting with Pylint, a dramatic effect, of course. So Pylint does work a little bit differently. Uh, so if we do time, Pylint, and then we actually have to supply the module, which is why I've been doing it for all of these. And then we copy paste all this in. So first we're disabling them all. And then I've gone through, there is a GitHub issue. I, complete, I think it's 940. I could be wrong about that. Which um, details what of Pylint is implemented in Rough. And all these codes are enabled, other things that are implemented in Rough one way or another. So if we run that, we will get some configuration warnings and then I will cut like I did in the Flakeate one <laughs> to when it's done because I have a horrible feeling this is going to take some time. Uh, but as you can see, I've done it properly. One of these codes might be slightly wrong. <laughs> there was a lot to go through. Um, so if one is slightly wrong, then sorry. Um, but I've tried to be as fair as, pos as possible. One thing I will say, actually, I've decided I'm not going to cut, is that there were a few ambiguous ones. So there were a few on Rough that said they were implemented but didn't actually provide a code that Rough used. In those instances, um, the Rough might check for it, but Pylint won't. I, you know, any, ang any ambiguity has been handled in Pylint's favour. Um, because I feel like it kind of needs it. <laughs> and there we go. We have a time. 2 minutes 39 seconds and 88 milliseconds. That is really quite a long time. Uh, bearing in mind that Pilot does have the option to parallelize its operations. And we haven't specified that so far. Unless the default is zero. In which case we have specified that. And Pilot just looked even worse. Um, but I will double check that before we run the next test. Because the next test is full parallelization. So we'll see. But we need to go back to rough. I have completely recloned this. Um, and there's a real chance that I might need to uh, reinstall rough. I don't think I do. Because that should save. Um, so if we do time, rough, check, tensorflow. And we provide... All of these options, so I'm not going to go through these all at once. These are, so PLE, PLR and PLW are all the pilot ones. I've just activated them all. Um, so if there's a few extra ones, then whatever. <laughs> and then all of these other ones are, are things that pilot checks, but in other codes that are already done. Um, so these are things that are already implemented outside of pilot stuff. If you run that... Oh, E510 doesn't exist. So that was my bad. Uh, turns out that E510 is actually E501. Um, whoops. That's been remapped. And we finished already. <laughs> 76,000 errors this time. Wow. If the TensorFlow team ever decide they want to fix their stuff, then they've got a lot of work to do. But either way, that took 2.5 seconds. As you can see, pretty quick. <laughs> Ruff is a lot faster um, than Pylint, uh, even faster than uh, than than Flake 8, which is kind of nuts. Also, it's worth doing it when cached as well. So when it's cached, it does it in 1.57 seconds. If we do TensorFlow Pylint and we run the command again, after already having run it once. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's the one then it should take a lot less time, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> you know, it's still not quick. <laughs> it, it might be quicker, but um, it's, it's not fast at all. Two minutes 33, it's not even, is it any quicker at all? I'm not actually sure it is any quicker at all, you know. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> And now on to our final test. I did a double check in the help and it turns out the pilot is not parallelized by default. So I was just doing it on one job, but it does offer the ability to do it more. So I felt it only fair to test it with that. It does provide a, so that's on dash J. It does provide an option where if you type zero, it will choose how many it thinks it needs automatically. And I think for this test, that's probably the best way to go for this. So, 
Oh, I don't have the env installed. <laughs> that would probably help, wouldn't it? God, Pyam takes its time with these things. Right, off we go. Now, it, it doesn't spam you with logs as it goes um, because it's splitting it out into all different jobs. It will give you them all at the end, apparently. Um, so we'll see how much faster this is and we'll see how fast it compares to rough. While we're on the topic of parallelization, I actually don't know if rough parallelizes by default. If someone does know, um, then do let me know uh, because I couldn't find anything in the docs or the readme to say so. We're getting a lot of, a lot of warnings here. <laughs> um, but I don't know if rough is paralyzed by default. So yeah, if someone does know, then please do let me know. Okay, and it's done. And it turns out parallelization does speed it up ever so slightly. I don't know how many cores it used. Um, it did spit out a lot of warnings. It's because there is a version three coming out soon. Um, but it is, it is quicker. Look at that, a minute and 55 now. So it's only like 70 times slower than rough instead of like what, 85 or something? I don't know. Um, again, numbers will be on the screen properly uh, and I'll do a little summary at the end once I've gone through and edited and verified all the numbers and everything. But uh, yeah, I think it's plainly obvious that rough is a lot quicker than both Flakate and especially Pylint. And that does matter and these, um, and these cache versus uncached tests do, uh, do matter as well. Because locally, everything is going to be cached, you know, the pie cache is going to exist. If you're running this on CI, chances are you're having it check out the code every single time you run the job. Meaning you'll be on the, the uncached version, meaning you'll actually be taking the raw results rather than the cached ones. And rough is even faster relative to its competition um, in that sense. And especially if you're paying for CI minutes as well. Rough will, will save you quite a bit of money in that sense. Obviously, if you're doing personal projects on GitHub, it doesn't necessarily matter, but it's still nice to have a, um, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> it's nice not to have to wait uh, for as long. So I will cut to me in editing to give a little summary of the results just so we have them all in one place and we can compare them a little bit easier. So I've looked over all the footage. I've actually already edited it all. And this is just a little summary section just to get how much faster relatively rough is to the other libraries because I feel as though it was quite obvious during the actual recording how much faster it was <laughs> or that it was faster. But this is going to see how much faster it exactly was using maths and science. So in our first test, we compared rough to flake on the first run and rough was 16.3 times faster Weirdly enough, after it was cached, Rough was even faster relatively at 17.8 times faster. Both libraries were a lot quicker this time around because they both cache extensively, but Rough was just that much faster, even though Flake8 did shave a solid you know, 40 seconds off its previous time. Uh, Pilot was a much more sorry story. In its original test, on the first run test that is, Rough was a very nice 69.5 times faster than Pilot. And caching just made things worse. Apparently Pylint doesn't really cache at all. It turns out Pylint was slightly faster on its consecutive run, but that didn't stop Ruff being 110.1 times faster than it. To put that into context, Ruff only advertises that it is a maximum of 100 times faster than the linters. And in our little test here, we've shown it is 110 times faster which is kind of nuts. The parallelization test for Pylint was a little bit better. It was about 40 seconds quicker, but Ruff was still 52.6 times faster, even with all the parallelization. Again, I don't know if Ruff does parallelization on its own. If someone doesn't know, please let me know. But yeah, you can see these results are quite extreme. Flakate was already one of the faster linters. Pylint was the slowest, so you're not gonna get any figures faster than that. And it's worth keeping in mind both sets of scores, because obviously, as I said before, in CI, you're going to be looking at first runs 
local you're going to be looking at cash trans um, so all of these numbers are very important here as I said before the commands I used are in the description below for those of you that want to reproduce these results feel free to use those same commands I've been using Python 3.11.2 with Flake 8 version 6.0.0, Pilot version 2.17.0 and Rough version 0.0.254. Of course, if you like this video and consider liking it to let me know and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions about what you've seen here or any ideas about what you want me to do in the future, make sure to leave a comment below. I read them all so the feedback is greatly appreciated. If you want to support this channel monetarily, you can do so in one of two ways. The first of which by becoming a member using the join button. The second of which by becoming a patron using the link in the description one pound a month on either and you can be on this screen like these people and i will see you in the next video where we tackle meta classes arguably one of python's weirdest and most confusing traits so i'll see you for that